Hey everyone, welcome to the Cup Bank Girls. I'm Darlene. I'm Jaylene. And we have a Cup Bank. And so pretty today. today. Yes. Yeah. So we have snow, hail, rain, sun, wind, you know, all we the things. We love it all. Yeah, we love it. So welcome to our show. Uh, here is where we get excited about our knitting. Um, we call ourselves Sweater Sisters. Sometimes we're actual twins. <laughs> and <laughs> like, like seriously. <laughs> so this is episode 16 and we're calling it Peace and Love. Okay, because that's what this piece was originally called. That's right. It's called Peace and Love and it's a fantastic little number, a little best. Right, Jaylene? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. We have to so, do the acknowledgement. Too. Yes, oh, we yeah. have to acknowledge. Sorry. We want to acknowledge where we are. Uh, we are on the territory of the Clayt Lake Tanay, where the two rivers meet, the Nechaco and the Fraser Rivers, in a town called Prince George, British Columbia. I can't get over how great the view is back there. You know, looking it's at it through the... really good when it's a bit more muted, but look at yeah. the sky and the blue it's there. so pretty. Love it. Can't really see the cup banks, but it's just the whole light back there is so fun. So, so um, yeah, this yeah. piece, this piece in love. What piece is it called now? now. It's um, called um, something. Little bit of love. Little bit of love. By the Knitting Loft. Yeah. So they used to have it as a free pattern um, on Ravelry. Right. That's where we got it way back when. Mm -hmm. And then now they've they've taken it off because they're revising or something. Yeah. And um, but if, you will set will there's an email you can do. Yeah, it's a great piece. Yeah. And this yarn, yeah. let's tell everyone about the yarn. So the yarn is called Heron Holler Farms Icelandic, and <laughs> yeah, you can. Smell it smells like a farm. farm. This yarn smells like farm. And little bits of yeah. See, I, even though I've washed this a few times, yeah. we still have a bit of like. Uh, farm material. I haven't blocked mine. But it's local. Well, local the sheep yard. are still local. So the farm has right. now closed, unfortunately. Naomi, we missed that. Um, but the sheep were sold to someone else mm -hmm. who has a farm on Cranbrook Hill. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping this particular sheep owner will do the same thing Naomi mm -hmm. did, which was to do the fleece up in uh, Carstairs, Alberta. But anyway, these little, this so yard warm. came from those little sheep. Yeah. Icelandic so sheep, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Fuzzy and wooly. And I, I kind of did a couple mistakes. I misread the pattern and did my Kitchener stitch the wrong way. And but then I, I had this big moment where I was going to um, frog it. But now that I'm wearing it, I might, I might not. But who knows? Stay tuned. This is the life of a knitter. Mean, this is what I was saying though, like, yeah. okay, people, like this is just a, was it Kitchener or was it a uh, three needle? It was Kitchener? It was Kitchener. Kitchener, and you, she just didn't have the pieces in the right place. But yeah. look at how this kind of mirrors this yeah. edge. And I think, yeah. you know, no one would, everyone would think it was a design feature. I know. Honestly. Yeah. So. You keep talking to her. I forgot to uh, close the window. Oh yeah, maybe we're here in the water. It will be a lot of, um, so ideally it's um, a little bit cropped. I went a little bit longer than suggested. I can't remember if you did. I did, I followed your lead. Did you? Okay. Yeah. And there's a split hem, you can't really so see it. So cute, and the twisted hem. rib uh, yeah. bottom, I love that. Right? The twisted rib Twisted ribbing. rib is really pleasing so to knit. <laughs> pretty. Yeah. 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 So I do love it. Um, stay tuned. I don't know. I'll just see it how it goes. great with this puffy shirt. I, I know. love it. It's so cute. So warm. It's and a great piece for It is. I was Prince telling Jaylene that I've got I've mm -hmm. got two of them now. This one um, I wear when I'm cold at the at the house. Mm -hmm. So I've got my pajamas on or something and I'm actually chilly so I stick right? this on over everything. Works. Yeah, I could see that. I, yeah. I, I'm loving it even as I'm wearing it. So, so you never know. So All it's right. peace and love. Peace and love, everyone. Yeah. Make one. Episode 16. So my two FOs have found their owner. I sent them to 
both my FOs I sent to a friend, Leah, in Terrace, and she's actually having surgery today. I wanted to like brighten her world because she's having this big surgery on her neck, and that's scary. She's got these two cute little girls. So I sent her a sunshine dishcloth so her kids could do dishes for her. And I made her a toque. So I made her the Two Rivers toque out of Andy's. I really did this nice blue. Um, and if you're interested in seeing the finished product, I have it on my, um, my Ravelry page. But that's what it looks like. It's, it's the Cupcake Girls. Yeah, it's on Two fun. Rivers toque. It's such a fast knit. Everyone, you know, I knit this in a day. Yeah. Like in a few hours. I just and I put a really cute pom pom on it. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Really so cute. and I just came in, hey, I grabbed yeah. a ball of this. Look at this pretty blue. You just beeline to the shelf. I too. Knew, exactly knew exactly what, what I wanted. Yeah, I was gonna try to use some scraps, but I was like, I need a whole ball. Yeah. It uses about I don't know, two thirds of a ball. And um yeah, so I sent that and I did um the sunshine dishcloth, which I think you might have. Spread a little sunshine. Spread a little sunshine. <gasps> Look how cute that is. And in this yellow dar, it's just, it brings Isn't it? joy. Oh. Yeah. So those are my, I just got them off the plate there. Two yeah. FOs. Two Boom. FOs. One, yeah. two. I just didn't have the actual physical to show you. But that's okay. It is. You probably you, have yours. Because you're gifting. I you're gifted. Nice and I really needed to get them to her before she left for the surgery. Yeah. Yeah, so she got them last week, so it was pretty cute. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's my language of love is knitting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's how I can just like do some sort of giving for people. It's really nice. Yeah. 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 It works. People love it. It's soft. It's Yeah, most people. Yeah, you yeah. gotta know <laughs> who's <laughs> who's knit worthy, as That's we right. call it, right? Yeah, as yeah most people. You know. But it is, I love it. Okay, well, I, um, I'm i going to start with my FO, yeah. the Toast to Tea. I'm so excited. So I Just think I had this. this as a, yeah, I had it as a whip last time. And folks, I am in love with this pattern and this <gasps> yarn. Wait for it. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Will we ever outgrow that? Somebody Man. commented on the comments. They've forgotten what the actual lyrics were right. to the YouTube <laughs> song. So that's, that's pretty funny. It is funny. Yeah. It's pretty cute. So I used those, and yeah. here we go. Dar. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. <gasps> Dar. Hello, eighties. Um, hello, eighties t-shirt. <gasps> that is gorgeous. Look at that. Dar. And I play. It? I love it so much. And um, I this, yeah. what? It says it's a non superwash. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Non superwash merino. Might your sleep shirt. I might. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wish people could feel this. So I just played around because this, this is so fun. Rebecca Clow is the designer and she has done all these different versions with stripes and solids and textures. And I thought, I want this 80s t-shirt thing. And I put it on to show Rob this morning because I just blocked this yesterday. And he's like, Dar, that is actually it? perfect. <gasps> like he was he was quite impressed with it. He's like, and it, you made I it your it. own, yeah, right? With the different yeah. stripes. Oh my gosh. You guys, the drape on this, it feels like a t-shirt. It does. <gasps> you could work out in it. I could work out in it. <laughs> Some aerobics, right? And I think a little long sleever underneath for the in between months, wow. and then I can wear this anyway. So, I want to tell nice you about this one. yarn, you guys, because it says non superwash, it's crazy. Um, and yet it says on the label machine washable, Weird. so I know, but no dryer. So, I spun it in the machine like I often do, I wet it, spin it in the machine, it's so touching it. and again, it got kind of big, right? Right, so I threw it in the dryer. For just like, I don't know, maybe a total of one minute wow. to just let it go back up, yeah. and then laid it flat to dry, and it's so just pretty. dried like a dream. So score, way to go, Dar. And thanks to Kathy who told me all about that pattern. She's made two of them, yeah, and now Heather's made one, and 
I love it. So that's my tool stuff. I um, love it. And then right my there. my second um, FO is the leg warmers that I use. Uh, I made up, right? Right. I made up the pattern for it, and I used the um, Katia by Concept Niska. So fun, right? This has been a really uh, popular yarn in the yarn shop. Is that um, um what weight is that? That is a DK, a six mm, ply sock. That is gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? And then I did the second one. I should have brought them both, but I only brought the one. I did the second one up and I really like them. Are you I was wear inspired them at the by retreat? Year. Yes. We should bring our leg warmers we'll next week. We'll bring our leg warmers. <laughs> no, I was inspired by you. You were making right. leg warmers and I was like, I want to make some. So if you want, you can go to my Ravelry page, uh, mm -hmm. which is Darlin Networks, mm -hmm. and I wrote out the instructions. It's just a cast on of 60 stitches, nice. and then, you know, rib here, and then this yeah. this needle size 375. And yeah, that's my uh, second I'm going to do that. Yeah. Um, thanks for reminding me about bringing these to the retreat. Yes. And we have to figure we out what sweaters. We have to coordinate. Yeah. <laughs> Got to coordinate our outfits. We only have 20 sweaters to choose from, but, know. you know. It's tricky. Gonna be tricky. Well, somebody said it's gonna be actually quite warm, which is exciting that weekend. Yeah. All right. Okay. So there's our FOs. Now we're yeah. into our whips. Whip our whips. It. Whip it. Whip it. We've got good timing here. Okay. If you've been watching our show, you have seen this on our show. But we just keep. I just keep knitting these. I just like having them in my little to-go knitting yeah. bag. Um, and they're oh. just, mm -hmm. and you inspired me. So I just had, the, this was the last ball of this yarn because you can tell more about it. But um, so I'm, one of my whips is the Stockinette Mitts by Svetlana Volkova. Svetlana. Like beautiful name. And look at her cute little heart. Yeah. Right? So um, these are, this is a really cool pattern. And I did find that I, ha I had to go down one needle size to get my gauge. And look at you doing the baby needles. Oh yeah, and I'm using my little Chiaobu baby oh. needles. Look how small those are, but it's really great. So I'm, on, I'm just on my first one. But um, hello, I had to get those. I guess, to match. I guess. And I'm, look, I wish you could feel this. I can't wait to get these on my hands. Because the one I, ones I have right now, I wear them all the time right now. Uh, my, in the alpaca? Yeah. Yeah. The Look, cinnamon ones. I know. As soon as my mom sees these, she's going to want these. I might have to get You know what? We her. got more red. Oh. We got Ooh, red and we go, got people. gray. Yeah. Come get so it. So this is Manos del Uruguay Sami. S-A-M-I. So Look at this red. I actually want that, more because I want to make a matching yeah. beret. Yeah. So Ooh, totally. We I'm just got going. more in. Because um, guess what? Natalie's going to make a sweater. Out of the red? Out of the red. Ooh, a sweater. A cardigan. Oh, I know. I know. This, this is just... You know, it's good we do these shows. Because I get inspired from this. Right? <laughs> I get so, like, excited right now. I'm like, ah! Well, I'm not going to work. I'm just going to knit. When the yarn comes in the yarn shop, I, I kind of get a little bit, like, Jittery. goosebumps yeah. and stuff. Yeah, because that's how we roll. That's how we roll. So that's one of my whips. Yay. It's one of your whips. Well, this is a repeat. But that's good. Spread a little sunshine. sunshine. But now we see it in person. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Look how pretty and cute that is. <laughs> and I got, oh, and you got your roller skates. I got my skates. roller skates this time. This is roller. the joy. Of like, come on, you guys. And what a pleasure this is to knit. Yeah. A little bit of eyelet and then okay and so she we didn't mention she's a kitchen sink shop so Garni oh, right. we um I saw this uh on I think I got an email from her mm -hmm. or an Instagram or something mm -hmm. and she was like selling this like for around the eclipse time oh for a dollar yeah. well if you go on Ravelry you guys it's three dollars so right. you can you can afford and it and you'll have it forever yeah and, it's and support garlene so yeah this is the estelle suds right beautiful Love stuff it. we Love can't keep color. it in the shop yeah yeah so how can you sunshine? not want to knit one of those yeah. just for like you know getting something done 
And for spring. Yeah. Okay, so this is the life of a knitter. Last week, I was sitting at home. I have my dad's memorial on Saturday. Right. And that's going to be really special and good yes. and healing. And I was sitting there going, okay, what am I going to wear? And I have this navy dress. And then I was going through all my shawls thinking, okay. And then I tried my, my outfit on for my kids. And I could tell by my kids' faces. They were like, mm, I don't, are you going to wear that shawl? <laughs> And I was like, well, I was thinking about it. So then I was sitting there Sunday and I'm like, I'm going to make myself a show. But I'm not putting the pressure on, but I can feel it in my heart right now. But I really want to get it done. I'm, I'm over halfway. <gasps> Jaylene. So this was in my queue already with some different yarn. So this is the Venencia oh. shawl by Hohi. It's so cool, everyone. Very popular. Very popular. And I know why. Because I've been knitting it like tell a me mad why. woman. I will tell you why. Okay. So then on month, so I started it with some yarn I had in my stash, and then I, I was I Monday morning I wake up, and Dar's shop isn't open on Monday, but I'm in my office, and I texted her, and I was like, That's Dar, right. can I can I sneak into the shop and and just look at what yarn you have? <laughs> and so I snuck in there. She let me. Thanks, Dar. And I found this yarn. This by a local dyer, right? Scarves for Hope. It's called Birch. Ricky. And it's gonna look so good. Guys, it's on called a baby. Birch. And look at I'm halfway. The colorway's Birch. And your dad. And my dad was an outdoorsman. We actually had a dog named Birch. Like, come on, this is all coming okay, together. That's interesting. Yeah. Look at how much you've done. Yeah, yeah, I'm over halfway. I've got it all calculated. And you know what I said to Jaylee too? I was like, and if you don't get it done. You put it on scrap yarn and you throw it around and put a yeah. shop in it. No one will know. Yeah, no one will know actually. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to get close anyways. I'm going to make this. I this think is super I cool. I highly recommend it. And as you're knitting it, you 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 don't quite remember these parts, but this middle part, you, yeah. you, you get it. And then um, what was really blowing me away is like, how does she think of this? I like designers. I just sit there and I'm knitting it going, how do you, how did you figure that out? It. Yeah. And so it's going to go from there and now I'm on the decreases, right? So then it's going to, it's almost like a scarf, but it's a shawl. Oh, does it go down to yes. the tip again? Yes. Oh, then you're going to definitely it's be done then. gorgeous. I was thinking it was going to get no, bigger. No, 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 It okay. starts to go like this now. Beautiful. So I'm on the decreases. Good job. And look at, isn't I it love squishy? The oh. It's just, it's, and it's, I, there's little flecks of pink, like the tiniest little thing. We so, love it, Ricky. I love it. I have this put aside, this birch color. Isn't it going to be great? So well, I've got goals. Good I job. usually don't you have goals, it. but. <laughs> <laughs> you have goals. I have a lot to do, though. Oh, like, I, I don't like to have too much to do, but I do, there's a lot, but I'm going to do it. You are going to do I it. I might even sacrifice some of my hours of sleep, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Even, yeah. That's my other whip. Yes. Good yeah. job. Right? Okay. So my other whip is um, a Caitlin Hunter pattern called Alpen Bloom. So I queued this. I had to look it up. It was a number of months ago. I love it. I think it was so last summer that I queued it. it. So a very popular summer yeah. t-shirt with a lovely uh, accent of lace on the, Look at those the neckline gosh. and on the sleeves. So I, I started and I got, I wanted to show you folks the little bit of color work that I got done. Oh, did you? Just like one round, but whatever. I'm using the, the, the Gia Merino oh, Yak, wow, which we love. And then, so yeah, and so cute. then this is, the neck so far. Dar, I love the scallop. I knew you would. Because you're liking this lacy thing lately, right? Oh. And there's a little bit of blue. I don't know if you can see it. There, I've started the blue. Yeah. It's, like, it's really just. Pretty. So the lace is actually fun. It's an easy... Is that a fingering then? It's a fingering. Oh, okay. So you do... Um, 
you do your you know your yeah. lace and then you do a few short rolls not very many and then you start the yoke uh the color work yoke and I i'm really it. excited about it i um, absolutely love the neck so these are the colors if you can't see what um it's gonna be so that blue. pretty and what's going on in these two is this slight heathering yeah so that's why we like the Rikia Merino Yak, because of the depth Merino. of color. Yak. Come on. Here, put it on your face. Isn't that amazing? It's going to be so nice. Oh, and I got the llamas. <laughs> yeah, so that's my Alpen Bloom and my second whip. Per perfecto. Whip, whip. Wow. Should we do, um, now we're on to our cues. Yeah. So, our cue is... Yeah. Where we um, got talk about what we're going to knit in the future because, you know, we don't have much going on. So why not <laughs> dream more? We're not busy. No. no. So we've got a class coming. When is that, Derek? Dar May 8th. It begins, uh, I believe. I thought it was more at the end of May. Oh. Into June, maybe. maybe. But anyways, we... Okay, we'll take a look. Um, but yeah, it's called The Grapefruit Pink Lady by Tia Coleman. She did this whole Always series. She had a to, yeah. thing called Baby Cocktails. Yeah, all and, of her uh, patterns. Yeah, so we decided on that. And we got a few people signed up. And yeah. this is what we're going to do. The Estelle Silk Harmony. Look at it. Ooh, yes. I love your color. Whoa, so what's yours depth. called? Whoa. Your color. What? Oh. Okay. Gosh, okay, mine is called Merlot. Merlot. Mine's called Graphite. So, at so first green. glance, you think, oh, it's charcoal, and then you look closer, and it looks it's almost like, green. And back here, it's got, like, this ocean color. Oh, yeah. I just, I think it's going to be quite something. Yeah. And you just changed your mind. Yeah. You had I had, one. like, a bit of a pinky color, but I went to grab the yarn, and... I'm like, you know, and I was really you, tossing it. Yeah. So I'm going to go with you the wanted low. the darker one. Yeah. So this is beautiful, right? This is 50% silk, 30% wool, 20% cotton. So it's going to be pretty um, fun. It's going to be very it's nice. It's going to be for, a nice little, It's and it's got a lacy kind of, oh, it's going to be so great. Yeah. I'm really excited. And it's bottom up. It's bottom up. So people are excited, like Ooh, there's yeah, because we want to we want to teach people something new, doing top down, yeah. and now they're going to learn bottom up construction. So that's cool. We're excited about that. Now I should say this straight off. Uh, just look on the Instagram and Facebook feeds for Top Door Yarn Studio regarding the class and the class times because there is uh, the website is under construction. So oh, okay. somebody went in and messed with the website. Um, so. I have a wonderful friend who is rebuilding it. It's unbelievable. So, unbelievable. So that's going to be coming soon, um, that updated version of the website. So nice. We're good. So that's so, yeah, one that's, of our shared cues. Yeah. And then and I have, um, I bought yarn to knit my daughter's all a sweater <laughs> oh. last year. And Emmy, she really... They text me sometimes, can you knit me this? And I'm always like, yeah, I can knit you that. And then I go and I find a pattern. And so she asked, she Oh, like they a, see it at Anthropology or something. They see it or they see yeah. it on their social media or whatever. And um, so I found this pattern that matches kind of what she wants. It's pretty cute. Seasons sweater. And I like knitting Very things 80s. that I like. Yeah. Just in case they don't like it. Right? Then I'll then keep yours. it. And she wants it really baggy. That's the style. Yeah. So um, it's really cute. It's like it's an oversized sweatshirt. Yeah. And it's, it's got an interesting stitch to it. I, yeah, I was going to say, is yeah. it Fisherman Rip? I haven't checked it out completely. Okay. That's okay. But it's well, by Ozetta. Uh, and I've made a tank top from her. I love all her patterns. Yeah. So, so I already bought the wool. Look at that. So color. look at the color. Oh. You that would be lovely to knit with. Yeah. This is the color pine. Isn't it pretty? Is the tree planter daughter wanting this? No. Okay. But uh, Maya will probably see that and want it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe I'll be knitting three of those sweaters. 
like I don't know when. <laughs> but <laughs> not this week. That's right. Not this week. Not this week. Is a shawl. That's right. So isn't that pretty? It's lovely. So that's one of my cues I thought I'd share. I love it when they name the yarns. Me too. I'm just imagine like I just like imagining. Yeah. So, so good there you job. Go. Lots of Estelle yarn. That's my other cue. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. my last thing to share is my second cue, and it is called the Big Bad Baby Blanket. I Isn't love that, that a great name? So it comes from a book that I have had for years and years. Stitch and Mitch. I have that book. The Knitter's Handbook by Debbie Stoller, and she's just kind what of... What a classic. Kind of my hero. Right, yeah. she got me back into knitting as like really? a full on activity. Um, so anyway, here's the big bad baby blanket. Look at the little galper, that's great, Dar. Yeah, Have really you cute. Oh, no, it's your cute. So the pattern calls for um, oh, first of all, I should tell you what the pattern or the designer's name is Lisa Shobana Mason, but she's in this book, right. Um, the pattern calls for double strands of fingering, mm. but I'm going to just use worsted. I've made this pattern before for, oh, yeah. yeah, for one of my, one of my grand nephews. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, um, and I used a, a worsted, I used a sweet Georgia or something. Mm. And this time I'm going to use scars for hope. Oh, in birch <laughs> <laughs> and in the worsted. I'm not going to do the double fingering. I'll just do the worsted. Um, because, How many are you going to knit with? Um, two or three? Or? I think I'll need three. Yeah. I may dip into the fourth though. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be a Dharma again. <laughs> so we're excited about that. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah, <laughs> there's Dharma. a baby coming and it's going to be enveloped in this lovely little Big blanket. Bad baby blanket yeah cute name hey so cute yeah and it's and it's nice because it's just a big square and it has reversible like almost like tiles mm -hmm. and so it is a reversible mm -hmm. um baby blanket mm -hmm. with seed stitch i think Love it is it. on the edges so um yeah so that's us good now what do we we want to do this yeah so we have a new handshake okay so because we're sweater sisters we're often we often are sweater sisters and then we are occasionally twinning our sweaters and so we created a handshake we need a handshake ready yeah boom <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I'm great that's pretty fun great i love it Okay, and then I want to share this, don't we? Yeah, so we wanted to do a maker mention. We keep forgetting every episode. Maker mention, I want to mention Sheepish Wolf Design. This is our own Natalie who works with us at the shop. Mm -hmm. And she does stitch so markers. Look at it. She does pom poms. I think we featured her before yeah. with pom poms. But look at these beautiful stitch markers. And she's got these little beads, and she does them in sequence. So say you like instead of numbers you've got your sequence of letters isn't that cute that is cute I didn't very know that. smart so cute so if you have to number it here's another set um with a cute little sweater type charm she must have so much fun doing that for beginning around and, and then the first two yeah you hold so these are individual ones you can buy uh at the shop she too make those? she makes these Look how cute Look at all that are. beading going on, that little owl. And then I've got this kind of Georgia O'Keeffe beautiful lily. And then that is just beads. so cute. Yeah, so there good go. job, so lots, Natalie. Lots of stitch markers. So that's it. That's our episode. What number are we at? 16. 16. Wow. Look at the cupcake now. I know. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous today, folks. So, yeah, hopefully we're doing our you know, intention of spreading joy and inspiring you and building community. I know it's happening. Oh, it just keeps growing. And um, the next time we meet, we'll have news about our fun little retreat we're doing next weekend. Yes. And yeah, so happy knitting everyone. And thanks for, yeah, all your comments. We love reading them and yeah, replying and 
Yeah, show us what we're, you're knitting because we have a yeah. Ravelry group where you can um, show some of your projects. Like if you've made, for instance, yeah. if you've made the Peace and Love or whatever it's called. Well, I would love to see it. I look yeah. every time I go to Ravelry, I go and look and see what projects are up there. Yeah. I Anything. saw a lady, I um, can't remember her name exactly, but she had shown a water bottle holder. Oh, nice. And I just loved it. And I favorited it yesterday. And then you, you make know, a new friend we, or whatever. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, share your projects and let's just keep going with the, with the making. Yes. All right. All right. Peace out. Peace and love. Peace and love.